Hi everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni, writer for Website Planet, web designer, and today I'm here to talk to you about how I got most of the cat hair off this shirt, I'm just kidding. No, we're here to talk about Hostinger. Hostinger, as you might have guessed, is a hosting service where you can put your web pages, your web apps, anything you want to put on the internet, you can put it there. Honestly, ignore that countdown. <laughs> Pretty much, you always get the cheapest prices for the first year or the first payment period, but we'll get into that later. The important thing for you to know right now is that they have a ton of different services, mostly uh, shared hosting, VPS hosting, and cloud hosting, along with email servers and I believe even Minecraft servers? Yes, there we go, <laughs> Minecraft servers. So why should you go for Hostinger? Well, there are actually quite a few reasons. We talk about Hostinger a lot at Website Planet. We can't really help it. The service is quite good for very low prices. That is, in fact, the first feature on my list. Yeah. And it deserves to be a feature. The prices are very low. Very, very low. Mind you, that's a first time price. And it does go up a little after, you know, you've paid, you know, after the period you've paid for. If you paid for a year, two years, three years, the price goes up a little bit after that. But if you're just getting started out in web design or, you know, just want to put up a WordPress site real quick for your business, then that those hosting prices are quite low quite fantastic the other we reasons we do recommend hosting her include the h panel the h panel is software for controlling your you know your hosting account it's quite simple to use it's easy to use it's beginner friendly is my point it helps you get set up real really quickly with all the most basic tasks that most people want out of sh shared hosting service then there's the fast servers some people will tell you that uh, shared hosting has a lot of flaws when it comes to speed, performance, and stability, and mostly that's kind of true. Uh, there are issues, but hosting or counteracts the, uh, the problems of sharing resources between tons of sites on one server, or, well, one set of servers by using the latest in server technology, uh, like Lightspeed and LS Cache, cache which, um, sorry, I said that wrong, which basically allows sites, especially WordPress sites, to run a lot faster than they would on other servers, uh, other server technology, that is. Then there's all sorts of little side benefits for the shared hosting tiers, uh, including free SSL, uh, one-click installer for web apps like WordPress and so on, weekly backups for free on all plans, you get weekly backups. Now, would daily be better? Yeah, yeah, it would be better. But uh, that's still more than you'll get on a lot of very cheap hosts. On virtual private servers, you get, well, you don't get the free ba uh, hosting backups. You gotta pay extra for those. But you do get your choice of uh, control panels, including paid ones like cPanel, Vesta, Webmin, Webuzo, and CyberPanel, which is my personal favorite. Now, if you want to know uh, more features, this review that I'm doing right now is based on two written reviews on Website Planet. Uh, one is about the shared hosting and one that I wrote myself about the VPS hosting. And there's a lot more detail in there. So go ahead, check those out. The links will be in the description. And uh, while I have you here, while I'm doing a call to action, uh, like and subscribe if you feel I'm offering useful information, please. But now we'll move on to ease of use. How easy is hosting your to use really? Well, like I said, for shared hosting, it's pretty good, easy stuff. VPS hosting, you have to know what you're doing. Same with the cloud hosting. But I wanted to show you actually just how quick and easy it is I keep saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how, just how rapid it can be <laughs> to build a website in Hostinger. Uh, now, we're just going to do a quick basic experiment. I'm going to sign up for a single month of hosting, start a WordPress site, maybe add one of the free SSL certificates, and generally just go from there. That might take a little bit longer than everything else. But, and I will, I'll be skipping little bits like, uh, like when I put in my payment information for obvious reasons. Let's go. I'm just gonna start this timer and let's see how long this takes, huh? 
So we're on the main page. Oh. And uh, then we're just going to go down here. Choose the cheapest plan. Because I do not have an expense account for this. <laughs> not as such. And you can create your account here. Or if you already have an account like I do, you can just sign in with Facebook, uh, GitHub, or Google. And so that's what I'm going to do. Prices do get a lot cheaper the uh, more you're willing to pay, like the more time you're willing to pay for. And now this is some of the parts I'll probably skip. I'm just going to try going with PayPal because that's usually the easiest way to go. Although Google Pay is a good option if you don't want to spend all the time putting in your credit card information. So see you in a bit. And we're back. And this that only took about a minute. So far we are... Yes, a minute and a half into the timer. Now, it would have taken a little longer if I'd put in my credit card, but, you know, so on and so forth. Do I still have a domain registered here? I think I do. This is going to make things even faster. <laughs> Look at here. Looky here. We can migrate a website or just build a new one. Let's select build a new website. And they have a few different ways to do it. You can... Uh, Choose another CMS, uh, like, let's see, what other options do they have? They have WordPress, they have Zyro, which is a site builder. They have WordPress and WooCommerce. Oh, wow. Impress Pages, Abantacart, B2 Evolution, Open Real Estate, Omeka, Joomla, Symphony, Dolabar, Concrete 5. That one's quite good for beginners. Code Igniter, Pivot X, Life Type, OS Class. I haven't heard of some of these. Self OSS. I think that's an RSS reader? Um, Sweet CRM, Wallabag, Subrium, the Zen Framework. Oh, wow. I don't... Oh, wow. Wikimedia is in there. I mean, sorry, MediaWiki. ModX. Wow, they have a lot of apps you can install. So if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can install one of these. I'm afraid they do not <laughs> tell you what most of these do. Though I recognize most of them. They, 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 they have lots of options. Um... I think I might have wasted a good 30 seconds there on the timer. Still, more stuff to blur out, okay? Let's just throw in a password. Yeah, okay. Continue. You can choose a starting theme. Prime lawyers, electrician, dental clinic, wedding invitation, construction, and there's more. Oh my. Wow, there's quite a few. Uh, different sort of business templates you can start with. I... Okay, there's a puppy. I have to use the puppy. <laughs> and... It's going in. Now, this process, admittedly, was made faster by the fact that I already had a domain name. Setting up and registering a new domain name would have taken another five minutes. Assuming I knew which what domain name I wanted to buy. So it takes less than three minutes to complete the website creation, it says here. Let's find out if that's true. We are at four minutes and 20 seconds in the timer. <laughs> and the website is ready, and you just missed my rendition of Moon River. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. We can go straight to the Hostinger control panel. And we can go to the WordPress dashboard. Now, just to take a look at the clock, we are at under seven minutes. Ah, <laughs> well, the domain name will take a while to be updated. But technically speaking, technically, we do have a, an up and running WordPress website. Oh, no, sorry. I kind of messed that up. Ah, that domain is no longer registered here. I, I, that the, they should not have had that domain name in the control panel. I thought beforehand that that was un, that that was not registered, and s somehow they. So that was my screw up, not Hostinger's. Well, it was a little bit Hostinger screw up. So that's something you're going to want to watch out for. But all I have to do is connect connect another domain name to this service, and I have an up and running WordPress website. Well. While we're waiting for <laughs> my name servers to be updated on the test domain I just attached to this particular hosting account, let's talk about a couple of other things about Hostinger. 
Uh, first, let's talk about performance. In our past tests, and again, you can read about this in the links below, uh, we found that hosting as performance is actually pretty fast for shared hosting, especially for WordPress sites. We were very happy with what we found there. Uh, I ran the tests on the VPS servers myself, and I found them to be quite stable, not the fastest I've ever used, but quite, quite fast, quite stable, excellent performance, cannot complain. Now, on shared hosting, your experience may vary. If your website or someone else's website on the same server as yours gets hit with a lot of traffic, your experience, you know, your speeds might go down a little bit. Your experiences will vary. It's not terrible when that happens usually, and it's always temporary, you know, just like a few minutes to an hour at worst. It's not great for a high traffic site like a store that gets ton a ton of customers or a really well-read blog. <laughs> If you want to run that sort of high traffic site, I strongly recommend going through for the VPS hosting or the cloud hosting. Uh, a lot of my friends swear by cloud hosting right now, but I'm personally I, I am partial to the control you get over a virtual private server. Okay, clearly I ran into a couple of hiccups. But now I can show you the website. Here's the dashboard for the test domain that I parked. And so I've installed WordPress to the test domain. Unfortunately, that did not come with the template with the puppy. <laughs> I am I am so sad. But it is working. And this is what it would have looked like, uh, minus the puppy, uh, if everything had gone smoothly and I hadn't and I screwed up the domain thing. So note to self and to everyone else, if you buy a domain name with Hostinger and then cancel it, that domain name can show up when you're uh, ordering a new site, when you're ordering a new hosting package. And if that happens, don't choose that domain name. <laughs> uh, well, all's well that ends well. This uh, website, it loads fast. It moves fast. I can add new posts fast. And I keep saying, yeah, I'm not going to go there anymore. That took a second. Okay, well, the blah, it's up and running. In the end, if this thing had worked as intended, the whole thing would have taken under seven to eight minutes. The thing that took the longest in my case was figuring out that I'd screwed up the domain name and that, and then of course I connected the test domain name and I had to wait, had to wait for the DNS information to propagate. But now that all that's done, <laughs> You know, that you can get a website up and running in about 10 minutes if you don't do what I did. Now, let's talk about support options. You have to you, you have to contact Hostinger by email before you sign up. Why they don't have a sales chat thing going, I honestly don't know. But they don't. They just don't have that. However, once you have signed up and you have a, an account with Hostinger, you can contact the support team via live chat and via tickets. Now, live chat is by far the fastest, simplest, easiest way to contact support, and you usually get uh, the best help that way. Tickets can take a fair bit longer, but, you know, it's still a viable option if you really don't want to sit around your computer waiting for a chat representative to get back to you. It usually doesn't take long, though. And then there is a knowledge base to keep in mind. Uh, knowledge base full of tutorials and helpful things. Again, for to the, the tutorials on VPS and cloud hosting will be definitely more nerd oriented, but there is a lot, even for beginners, as long as you're using the shared hosting, there is a lot of valuable information to get your website up and running quickly. Now, in the end, we've got to ask ourselves, who is hosting or for? Well, the shared hosting is really, really good for beginners. Uh, look, uh, while we wait, let me show you around the dashboard a little bit. You can easily manage, if you have a WordPress account, you can manage settings in your WordPress account without even going into the WordPress admin. You can manage plugins. You can upgrade your plans, the change passwords. Oh, these things are all right here, all easily accessible. Manage subdomains, part domains, redirects. Cloudflare integration if you need a content delivery network to make sure your site loads fast all over the world. Uh, you've got auto installers for, to install yet more apps. 
And all of these things are just a click away in a very easy to use panel. Now you might, if you've never used a hosting before, then yeah, you're going to need, you know, a little practice. You're going to need to spend a little time learning how to use these things, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. In short, if you're a beginner, if you're new to the whole web game, if you just want to get a site up and running quickly, we do absolutely recommend Hostinger. If you need something more advanced, if you need something, you know, like if you want WordPress, a WordPress site on cloud hosting or VPS style hosting, you might go with Kinsta. If you want, you know, very well managed custom servers and excellent support, you might go with uh, Liquid Web or Green Geeks. But honestly, Hostinger has that beginner experience nailed down. And that is my official recommendation as of this time. I uh, hope that was helpful. I hope that was useful to you. Uh, this has been Ezekiel Bruni for Website Planet signing off. Please do like and subscribe if you you know, found this video helpful and do check out the other written reviews of that we have of hosting are in the video description. See you all around. Mm -hmm.